Here in Chapel Town, Carnival is a serious business to which the local community has devoted many months of preparation and planning. All this week, the costume designers have been putting the finishing touches to the exotic creations which will adorn this year's Carnival Queens. Well, it's all about fun, frivolity, colour, everything that's exciting. You know, Carnival actually began in Leeds about 13 years ago when a chap called Otto France from Leeds decided, let's have Carnival. In every island in the West Indies, Carnival differs. They all have some kind of Carnival. But if you want the real thing, you've got to go to Trinidad to find that out. Idris Brown, who designs with her 15-year-old daughter Cavell, has put many hours into her costume. Well, we started in July, so it's taken us from July to now, so it was about six weeks up to now. Well, of course, you can only be um, a queen contestant once, and I myself had been a queen contestant, and after that I went into designing and making costumes. And I have been very successful at it. I've done four costumes and I got two firsts, one second and one didn't play, so that's quite a good track record. Well, I have designed the basic construction uh, about four weeks ago. I chose not to design it from any sort of uh, known flower because I felt I'd be limited and I'd be just simply copying what already exists. Uh, in this particular case, I had to make 80 pairs of wings and the headpieces. Now my wife, she's making the dress outfits along with uh, quite a few more friends. <laughs> We estimate about 700 people would be involved in the organisation. They're either going to be dancing or carnival committee members or troop designers or something of this sort. But really, we're going to get something like about 10,000 people involved all told, you know, in, in town. As people looking on, people just coming for a bit of a dance. And um, anybody else who cares to join in? All in all, it brings people together. I'm not just West Indians, but... Uh, the whole uh, spectrum of people who is living here. Um, I see it as an extension of our culture from the West Indies and it's just beautiful.